everyone, welcome back to Budget with V. My name is V. I'm a 26 year old Australian um, who's just started this channel pretty recently around budgeting and um, cash stuffing videos. So today's video, what I want to really focus on is giving you a little bit of an update really and just showing you a few little new bits and bobs that I've got um, that I've sort of been laminating and getting ready and purchasing on Etsy with some of my spending money as well as um, some things sort of in the works. Not everything has arrived yet but I was too excited not to show you. So um, as you know this is my binder. I'm just going to move that across but um, I'm just going to show you sort of a little bit of an update about what's in here money wise but also some of the new challenges and stuff like that. So this is my money for week two of the fortnight, which um, is the groceries. So I've got $6 in coins and 70, 90, 110, 130, 140. So 146 out of the 370 that I cash stuff. So I've spent a lot this week, but hopefully because I got so much, I'll be able to put a little bit um, less in purchase a little bit less next week splurge splurge at the moment has 145 I need to build this back up to 160 before April when I'm going to the spa oh I also have a little bit of a new setup I've got a new little um, tripod sort of thing because the one I had before, it was getting in the way of me actually being able to cash stuff. Whereas this one is more of an overhead one. But I'm not sure how it looks. Please, if you prefer the old way, let me know. Um, or if you prefer this. Or if you think there might be a better way of doing this. I'm still learning. Gifts still has the 15 in there. Home has $10. Miscellaneous has $2 in coins left plus the 60 for tutoring, which might not get spent this fortnight, in which case I'll probably move that to home just to give that a bit of a boost because there's a few things that are starting to break down or like needing some repairs. And I just want to have the cash sitting there for that. This is one of my new um, purchases. So this is my new emergency envelope. And I purchased this on Etsy. It's the Simple Shops on with a Z on Etsy's um, little trucker. And I've just put that I'm trying to get 5,000 and made each one 200. Um, and I've coloured in that already. So I only actually have four more little things to go until we reach our goal. But what else is super exciting? Let's get this out is I've actually made myself some little placeholders. So I've got some coming, some proper placeholders coming in the mail from Budget with Sass, as I've talked about before. But just in the meantime, I've made these and laminated them. I found my laminator, got some laminating sheets, and you can rub this off and then it says in the bank. So you can just make that whatever value you want. Um, they're not perfect or anything like that, but they are really cute and I'm happy with them. So at the moment in the bank, we have 4,200 in our emergency fund. So I'm just going to put that there and in here. And at the moment, we're putting about $50 a fortnight into this. But hopefully, once some of these bigger expenses are paid for, we'll be able to put <coughs> a little bit more in there to boost it up to the 5,000. Oh, look at them. They look so cute. Okay. Um, I also laminated some of these other trackers that I had already purchased. Um, so I laminated that one from My Money Matters, which has 95 in there. <coughs> as well as I, I reprinted this one out um, and laminated it as well. That one I've just left as is, same as Easter. I've re-laminated this one here. So it's like, I can 
can redo it and keep it sort of thing instead of having to reprint. And I've reprinted out Christmas as well, which just has the same 25, and that's just back to bank. So I've got all of that. Um, I just did, did want to show you a couple of other things. So I also made this little placeholder. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. Um, it's just a $50 one. And I also got a few more trackers, which I'm super excited for. I um, laminate them all as well. So I've got, first of all, this one here from Diesel, Do oh, sorry, you can't see that. Um, Diesel Dollar Budgets on Etsy. And I got this one as a free download. I think she still has them um, up as a free download on her channel here on YouTube. So just head on over to her. Um, so it's Diesel Dollar Budgets. And this is her $2,023 in 2023. And I'm going to use this for my personal savings. So this will just be separate to my splurge fund because splurge will be like guilt-free purchases. And then this savings is just as a little bit of backup for myself slash if there's anything bigger I want to save for or spending money on uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, overseas trip next year. Um, just so I have a little bit of a little nest egg for myself. So I'm actually going to use my old little envelope here, the challenge envelope for personal savings. I might just wonder if I can do that without smudging it. Personal savings. Apology. Um, I've got some, oh, I bought some more of these clear envelopes, the zips, um, but they'll be a little while away. I bought them on eBay for like 12 or eight dollars or something like that. Um, and then I'll just put these stickers on them. Um, and I have a new binder coming, one of the clear PVC ones to just because already I'm getting really full in here and I just want to separate at maybe the savings from the sinking fund type ones. But for now, um, this is going to go in here. It's not like my ultimate priority right now, but I might put a little bit here and there. And then also once some of my challenges are done, I'll reallocate that money into some of these sort of ones. That's really good. I've got that one. And then I've also got a few others. So I've got this um, one from Simple Shops as well the baby savings challenge. So I've made each one $50, each of the dummies. And we're not sort of planning to have a baby anytime relatively soon, but I just want to have a little bit of a um, small bucket in case, um, or I guess ready for that sort of thing. Um, and it's just exciting to save for some of those things that are in the future. Not necessarily right now, but um, nice to have there. And I thought it was really cute. Then I got this one from Simple Shop. I think the rest are, yeah, they're all from Simple's Simple Shops um, on Etsy. This one is their Adventure Savings Challenge, and I've made each of these tents five dollars. Um, my friends and I are going on a camping trip in April, and I just want to um, save a little bit of money for the food and petrol, and um, I don't know if we do anything else while we're there, or just just to have a little bit of a buffer. I got this, which is their Autumn Savings Challenges, which is so cute. I think it saves $100. Um, and that will just sort of be a new one that I can do once I've finished some of those other just generic ones as well. And I got this one for my birthday. It's not till August, um, but I never sort of save anything for my birthday. I sort of just... I don't really do much extra. I don't spend much money on my birthday usually. Sometimes I might buy myself a gift, but then I sort of haven't allocated those mo that f money to my birthday and then I sort of feel a bit guilty. But I want to have just a little bit of chunk of money, guilt-free to spend on whatever I want on my birthday or to do something with my friends or family. Um, I just think that would be really nice. So I'm really excited about this one as well. And... Since it's so far away, it's not something that I need to be putting heaps into at once. It's just slow, 
It's a little slow burner, that one. So, yeah. So, once I get um, some more envelopes and my new binder, I'll be able to put these in there. Um, I probably won't start the autumn one yet. I guess autumn starts in March, so it might start in March, depending on when that all comes. But, yes. Um, we'll just slowly see how we go with them. But I'm super excited. And I'm so excited that they're all laminated. Um, so, I'll put those back in here. I've just been putting them in here for now, which is a good little spot. And I might put this savings one back maybe just now. Yeah. Okay. These are really good size, um, these Moterm. But I feel like I really like the PVC ones just as much and I think um, it'll just be nice to separate the two. So the last thing that I want to do today is I've got a little bit of spare money. Um, so this was from, oh, this was from some extra income, which we put towards mostly paying back the account, but I kept $5 out um, just to put a little bit into our savings. Um, it all adds up. And then I had this as rollover, this $1. Um, let me have a look. So I'm going to actually put it into, sorry, this chair is squeaky, this savings bo box. So um, I don't know if you can tell, but I've actually done one more. So I've done this 51 um, off camera because I only had that and there was nothing else. I didn't realise I was going to be filming this. So I'm going to be doing the $5. Can you see that? Um, the $5 one, there's no $6, is there? There is a $6 down here. Hmm. I'm just going to, because this, this black box indicates how much we need to save for a passport. So I'm just going to do the $5 really messily. Um, and then I'll put, I could have done the seven and added another dollar from somewhere. That's okay. What I'll do is I'll just do that. Oh. And I'll put this dollar away for when I next cash stuff. Put that away. All right. So that's it from me for today. Thank you for joining me today. I uh, know it's just a quick one, but I just wanted to show you some of these little bits um, that I've got that I'm really excited about. And yeah, so let me know what you think of the new setup and how your week's been going. I hope you're having a really good weekend. I'm filming this on Saturday and it's so nice to not be working today. We went out for breakfast this morning um, and we're just having a little bit of a slower day, which is fantastic after the weeks that I've had at work recently. So hope you're all doing well and I'll speak to you again soon.